Hello, my name is Findimus, and in this video we're going to be learning how to use an ID attribute to style an element. If you want to follow along, link will be in the description down below. Let's begin. One cool thing about ID attributes is that, like classes, you can style them using CSS. However, an ID is not reusable and should only be applied to one element. An ID also has a higher specificity than a class or a higher importance. So if both are applied to the same element and have conflicting styles, the styles of the ID will be applied. Here's an example of how you can take your element with the ID attribute of cat photo element and give it the background color of green. In your style element, you'll see a hash in front of cat photo element, followed by curly brackets. Then you have background dash color, colon, green, semicolon. Note that inside your style element, you always reference classes by putting a period in front of their names. You always reference IDs by putting a hash in front of their names. So classes have a period in front of their names here when you declare them inside of the style tag, such as this red text. And IDs have a hash in front of their declaration or reference. Try giving your form, which now has the ID attribute of cat photo form, a green background. So your form element should have the ID of cat photo form. If you scroll down to the form element, you will see it has the ID from the previous lesson. It's already there. Your form element should have the background color of green. So for now, it does. It looks like it already has it actually here. Let me reset the code. There we go. Yeah, that was messed up because I already had done it once before and then the microphone had picked up some horse playing, I'll say, in the background. So we're doing it again. All right, so your form element should have the background color of green and the way that we're gonna do that is by referencing the cat photo form ID up here in the style tag. So underneath the uh, silver background, we'll go down and you do hash cat dash photo dash form. Then put the curly brackets and inside of that, we're gonna do background dash color colon green semicolon that will change the background to green for you. And this was what we learned in the lesson today. Now we'll look at the final two objectives. Your form element should have an ID attribute. Okay, it has that. If you go down to the form element, it has the ID attribute. And you should not give your form any classes or style attributes. So, I'm a little bit confused on that because this ID is referenced in the style, but I think they're specifically talking about you should not put background color as a style inside the form element. So we did not do that, we used the ID. And then up here inside of the style tags, we created the reference for the ID of cat photo form with the background color of green. Now we'll run the test and you'll see the challenge was destroyed. And we are now 34% of the way done with basic CSS, congratulations. Submit this and we'll move on to the next challenge. I'll take you to the outro. Good job if you're following along. It's hard work, but it's gonna be worth it, I'm telling you, and you're learning a lot. So thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. 
If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Finimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.